Uh oh, that's kind of setting up for a, uh, a sequel there. All right. Well, they're not on fire anymore, so that's good. That's gonna open that one up. We'll go here, here, here. Shoot. What do we? I guess we probably want to go here next. What are we trying to hit? There we go. That's what we wanted. Okay, so now this is coming down here. It's going through here. We want this to hit like that. And then we want that. Boom, there it is. Now we're inside. Ahead and intrude. Uh oh. I've linked to a satellite from here. T Bone's virus will reboot the entire system. It'll stop Damien. I'm gonna find him. Let's shut it down. Damn, all of Chicago. That's crazy. CTOS blackout, holy shit, dude. Use a boat to reach Damien. Could you imagine if all the lights in a city went out at the same time? Oh my gosh. Some people have to have generators, right? Why are you so this would be so stubborn. eerie. Quinn's dead. You got your sister back, and Clara, she stabbed you in the back. She helped kill your precious Lena. You know it's true. What about you? Some might blame you for Lena's death. I wonder who would think that, huh? But why stop there? Perhaps we should blame you. As I recall, the Murloc job was your plan. I blame myself every day for the plan, for meeting you, for not stopping you when I had the chance. I don't make that mistake anymore. I see a problem, I step in. Oh yes, the vigilante. I've read your headlines. You're the only problem I see now, and I'm coming for you. Damn, let him know, baby. Here we go. You guys ready for this? He's out in this lighthouse. Yeah, dude, imagine how eerie that would be. Dude, all of Chicago. Ha, Lighthouse. eerie, like Lake Erie, get it? Power still running out there. That's Damien. But for real, the entire city just goes dark. Ugh. If somebody, like a terrorist threat, like they, um, Attacked our like power grid or something? That'd be crazy. Come on, get in there. <laughs> Not taking the smoothest drive. <laughs> I can't. We were stuck on on freaking shallow water. We couldn't move. Not the smoothest way in. But it gets her done. Remember when you and I first decided to pool our talents? The schemes we were planning? <laughs> We had so much drive, but never like this. Look outside. We've taken down a goddamn city! Wonder if we're gonna have like a big fight, or if it's just gonna be a cutscene. Holy shit. This is now creepy. I'm spending my final hours standing on the widow's walk. That's what they call the lighthouse lookout. Widow's Walk. Did you know that? I didn't. Seems fitting. Everything reeks of conclusion. Holy shit, dude. Come on. Surprise, surprise.
This is such an Trust epic me, ending. Damien. Anything you want to say? I know who I am now. That's it. That's all you got. Hey, fuck you. Look at you. You plowed over people to get to a mob boss. You think you're absolved because your cause is what? Noble? You played me. That's what this is about. I played you! Clara is as much your fault. So is your niece. That's why you sent your family away, right? They know what you are. You play a beautiful game. Sometimes you still lose. Ah, blah, blah. Jesus, you guys talk a lot. Oh, shit. What are you doing here? What's up, homie? Sorry, pal. New contract. Get it over. What? Oh, come, come on. on. Oh, you're hilarious. You know, you guys take things far too personally. That's your problem. That's why this went wrong. There's lessons to be learned here, fellas. He's got his phone. Up, 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 phone too. Give it to me. Come on, hand it over. Boom. Woo! Got his ass. Wow. I don't know what Damien wanted. In those final moments. Death, I suppose. I thought I could fix a little girl's death. But instead it led to all of this. Exposed lies, corrupted kings. A broken city. And me. Changed man. I don't look back anymore. I don't regret. I look forward. Everything is connected, and I'll use that to expose, to protect, and if necessary, to punish. Watch dogs, baby! Holy shit! That was awesome! Wow, that was a great game. I really, really enjoyed This is like one of the most hyped games of 2014, and I definitely don't Once think again, it Mayor let us Rushmore down. Mayor is dead. Police are not revealing any information. The leaked documents found extensive corruption and deep ties between the mayor and the Chicago South Club leader, Lucky Quinn. Did the mayor kill himself over this exposure, or was he executed? Dude, this Bloom is nuts. Director of Public Relations, Charlotte Gardner, has issued a statement regarding the recent CTOS troubles. We knew all along that our CTOS network would be a target for hackers of all strengths and skills. It's been an excellent proving ground to demonstrate how robust our system really is. We're so pleased with the results. Our firewall security withheld the worst of the attacks, and in some cases, trip switches closed the systems off before any access could be gained. Bullshit. Your personal information remains secure. Our CTOS network is restored to full operations. So they're saying that shutdown was oh, bull crap, dude. In a world where we want to spend more time with loved ones, be active in our communities, have safer, healthier homes and cities. Bloom Industries listen to you and your needs. We are embarking on a global journey. We want the world to be a community. CTOS 2.0, focusing on you, putting you on the global stage. CTOS 2.0, making smart cities even smarter. Up next, an interview with a woman who claims to know the vigilante, Aiden Pierce. Renowned child psychologist Yolanda <laughs> Mendez is with us. Dr. Mendez, your story is extraordinary. You actually know Aiden Pierce, the man we know as the vigilante. Tell us how that came about. I met Mr. Pierce through the family, his sister. This was a surprise to us. We couldn't find any information about him at all. It's great that you've come forward. You were treating her son for trauma? Yes, well, naturally, I can't discuss any of that. Not even their names. No, 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 no. <laughs> we wouldn't ask you to. But that's how you met Aiden Pierce. What's he like? It's impossible to say for certain what he's really like. He masks his personality, and he's very good at it. Is he? He isn't like someone playing poker. 
This is a very smart man who is looking to gain the upper hand in every situation. And you're writing a book. Yes, I am. It's a book about the whole experience. A study on Mr. Pierce. I really wanted to explore this complex man's mind. I'm sure it'll be a fascinating read. Dr. Mendez, thank you. Well, she's cashing out on me. Uh-oh, dead sec. Dead sec has had enough. Our warnings have fallen on deaf ears. Our reputation has been attacked by weaklings such as default. Heed our final warning. There will be a reckoning. We are vigilant against the Watchers. We are capable. We are unstoppable. We are at war. It's foreshadowing, baby. Watchdogs Dogs 2. from the Commissioner's office acknowledges the recent decline in criminal activity. The vigilante known as the Fox is only given the slightest praise for his crime-fighting efforts. An anonymous source told our reporters that members of the police department are more enthusiastic about the vigilante than they are allowed to publicly disclose. With Chicago still reeling from the shocking revelations of Rose Washington's murder and Mayor Rushmore's subsequent death, there has been little appetite for politics or elections. One name that's been floated about is Bloom's VP of Communications, Charlotte Gardner. Her supporters insist Ms. Gardner will restore integrity and trust to a city that sorely needs it. Well, there's some more shadow foreshadowing, and that's going to be an, an awful person to fill that position. From the shocking chaos brought on by a massive CTOS malfunction. The city experienced major power outages, bridge disruptions, and thousands of dollars in damages. While CTOS is back online, many are raising questions about the safety features needed to run a complex system in a major city. Uh oh. I'm bleeding here. You we ain't done yet, boys. Up. I got one last bone for you to chase. Maurice finally gave in, then suddenly he was all talk. I'll give you a location, the rest you can work out yourself. That's business, huh? Yeah, that's right. It's all business. Jordy's like that. Tidy fixer. Keeps the loose ends clean. Maurice is one of his loose ends. And he's ultimately my problem. He's the one who shot my car. Killed my niece. I want to say we're different, but I don't know anymore. How many people have I hurt? Killed? Who deserves to die? Who decides that? Oh shit. going on here? <gasps> Aiden. Oh, dude. Holy crap. Walk away or shoot Maurice. I'm not gonna do it. Kill the guy that killed your niece. Good for you, you selfish fuck. Maurice is not gonna do it. That's not who I wanna be. He's a victim in all of this. And 
and I've seen enough death. He's gonna get a second chance. We both are. Well, there we go. I guess it is, uh, that was it. That was the last little thing there. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Let's Play, man. That was crazy. That was a really, really good game. I truly did enjoy it. Uh, obviously, they left it wide open for a sequel. We're definitely gonna have a sequel, so uh, when that comes out, we'll be sure to play it. And, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wanna see some, uh, some mess around with multiplayer, we might try a couple of episodes. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, and if you guys enjoy them, we'll, we'll keep going with them. If you don't, we won't. And, uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. The support of the series is amazing. And, uh, and you are amazing. So thank you. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be starting something else up very, very soon. So look forward to that. Peace out, guys.